And um, I would like to call this bind to see if he has any input on this. Yes, thank you. Um, so I would say I am in favor of the November 2nd date. I think that gives us a sufficient amount of time to um, answer some of these questions that we still have. Um, and one question um, I had was, with us approving um, a, a potential date, are we also setting in stone the current schedule that we, we have um, that was proposed a couple months back? And if the, <laughs> if the schedule is subject to change, how far in advance would we notify teachers of that? That's a great question. And I think that um, you, so much work was going into these, this, uh, this schedule that's proposed. Uh, Dr. Scambri, do you have anything on that? Yeah, there's no, no plans to change the schedule. That was negotiated between uh, FSTO and the district. A lot of work and time went into that. So at this point, there, there's no plans to change. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bining. Uh, Ms. Katzberg, did you have your hand up? I'm sorry. Sorry, I was asking my 10-year-old to back away from the camera. I apologize. Um, I Since it's me, if, I, if it's okay, if I just say something, I think that it's easier for me to get behind the November 2nd date. I think um, Mrs. Folly identified some um, good points in terms of why it might be better to wait that extra week um before reopening and um i think that it provides teachers with some time to like you were saying mr montoya to wrap their heads around making that transition and also the students to making that transition it's not so easy for them to go between these um different models of learning either and um i i think that it's it it gives everybody a chance to just hit the pause button know what's coming and be able to anticipate that from what I'm hearing, Ms. Bushy, would you take a friendly amendment to amend the motion to go to the November 2nd date? I think that would be fine. Okay. Can I also make another, I'm sorry, Ms. Folly, is that okay with you? Yes, it is. Um, I would like also to make another amendment, um, if it's okay, that if we do go into the purple tier again, that we halt the, um, the decision to go back. I don't think we have any choice, Andy. Okay, I just want to make sure we're clear on that. Yeah, it only we were only uh, able to move uh, to have students at school when we moved into our the current tier. Okay. Of orange. Okay, then I guess I don't have to make that amendment. <laughs> well, Andy, I'm glad you brought it up though because it's it's a little vague, and so that way we are really clear that if the community trends, you know. Uh, rate per 100,000 and the positivity rate take a dramatic turn for the worse, then, you know, obviously we're not as in a safe as environment as we are now um, in terms of community spread. So I think it was very important to clarify that. And I'm glad that you did. Thank you. Okay, so uh, protocol, we have a motion on the floor and it's been amended. And the motion was to set a date of November 2nd for the back to school date. Um, um, and it's been, um, Mr. Montoya, can we, um, can I just have somebody make a motion to amend the motion and then I need a second and then I need a roll call vote on the amended motion and then you can make the new motion. Okay. I motion to amend the original motion of October 26th to November 2nd date. I need, yes, I need to call for a motion for that. Mm -hmm. You need a second, Andy, I think. Oh, I'll, I'll, Who's making the motion, please? Andy Montoya. Okay. Second. Okay, and I need a roll call vote. This is for making an amendment to the motion. So what you're doing is you're amending the motion to say uh, the school will open on November 2nd. So it's been, the motion has been made and seconded for the amendment. Mr. Montoya? Aye. Mrs. Bushy? Aye. Ms. Folly? Aye. Dr. Jang? Aye. And Ms. Do we Kraska. need to do a preferential vote? Aye. Please. Uh -huh. Ms. Binding, do you approve the um, amendment? I approve. Thank you. And then now, so that, that was five to zero. Now I need to have a motion on the amended item. You just approved the amendment. Now we need to approve the motion. <laughs> Ms. Bushy, would you like to make your motion? I think you can make a motion to approve the amended motion. 
I'm reading Robert. I've got it right here at this time. <laughs> you have to approve the amendment first and then the amended motion. I move approval of the November 2nd date for opening. There you go. And I need a second. Oh, second. second. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, who was that, Joanne? No, Dr. Jane. Dr. Jane, okay. And we're going to ask Ms. Bining if you approve the amended motion. I approve. Thank you. Now we'll take a roll call. Mr. Montoya. Aye. Mrs. Bushy. Aye. Ms. Folly. Aye. Dr. Jane. Aye. And Ms. Klasker. Aye. So the motion has passed. The amended motion has passed to reopen school under the hybrid schedule on November 2nd, 2000, 